Hi everyone, I wanted to talk to you today about the one thing that seems to have caused the problems for me having ankylosing spondylitis. And that is something called HLA-B27. So you're probably thinking, what's like HLA-B27? Well, it is a, it's, um, HLA means it uh, stands for human leukocyte antigen and the number it's given is B27 basically um, it's a protein found inside um, the body which attaches itself to white blood cells so uh, I'm HLA B27 positive so that means I have that protein in my body. Um, so these um, antigens or proteins, if you like, um, they basically decide what the difference is inside your body between healthy tissue and unhealthy tissue or you know, foreign bodies that can cause infection. So what this HLA-B27 protein does is it specifically causes um, the immune system to attack those healthy cells. So it, re it, it can't recognize properly what's healthy and unhealthy. So if there's no unhealthy cells available for it to attack, it will go for healthy cells. This obviously causes the autoimmune disease that I have called ankylosing spondylitis, where my own immune system attacks my body. That's it in a nutshell. Um, not all uh, AS patients are HLA-B27 positive. You can have AS without carrying the gene um, and vice versa as well. You can carry the gene and not develop symptoms of AS either. It all depends on the person and, you know, I guess there's got to be some sort of trigger at some point to set off that gene to start attacking the cells. So, What's the cure? That's the big question. Unfortunately, there isn't one, but there are treatments that um, are out there. For me, I use a biologic. So a biologic for me is an injection that I inject once every two weeks. And what that does is it blocks the part of the immune system that reduces that can reduce inflammation. So then the knock-on effect is that the um, it reduces the damage that AS can cause, therefore, and, and, and subsequently slow down the actual um, disease. Unfortunately, you possibly have already guessed it, reducing the immune system has the obvious problem and that is you're open to infection um, and uh, the ability to fight infection um, is, you know, can be greatly reduced. So it's basically a trade-off. Do you go with the biologic, which treats the AS, stops or slows down the AS, um, from getting any worse, potentially anyway, if it works correctly. Um, or do you take the biologic? Um, oh, sorry, sorry. Um, but by taking the biologic, you're obviously then open to all the infections that can go around. So one of the common things that I seem to get is sinus infections. I've always been prone to them anyway. Um, uh, but they just seem to be, yeah, I just I seem to get them 
a lot more um, often. So yeah, do you go with a biologic which can help you um, slow down the disease? You're open to infection, you're open to not being able to fight infection, um, and viruses and all that sort of thing. Or do you not take it and you sit with the potential severity of pain that AS can cause and no doubt the more that that can cause and the inflammation um, that can, you know, subsequently um, build up, I suppose, can cause even more damage and, um, you know, wear and tear damage and things like that. So it's a, it's a trade-off for me personally. It was a no-brainer. Um, the pain is the pain. You get a lot of pain even with the biologic. So take not taking it is even worse, basically. So you know, it's a no-brainer for me. So that's HLA B twenty seven in a nutshell. Um, I'd be interested to see if any of my uh, uh, I, I don't know viewers on um, YouTube that have got AS or something similar um, I know there's there's other things that um, HLA B27 can cause as well um, in terms of rheumatoid arthritis and you know all sorts of things like that um, so yeah, let me know if you're HLA B27 positive or negative and, you know, what, um, what you've got and how it affects you and, and things like that. Let me know. And, um, yeah, we'll see, you know, how many people have actually, you know, got this, um, gene basically that causes all this, uh, aggravation. Okay, uh, signing off for now, and I shall see you very soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.